the list and uh, just take a quick look at it. If you had to memorize this, what's really going on in your brain? Well, if you had to, had to, had to memorize it, what we'd have to do would be to create some sort of construct, some image or some situation, whether it be by rhyme or repetition, that would have the first item remind you of the second and that would remind you of the third. That's really what's going on in your brain when you're trying to connect things. Remember, your brain works by connections, right? When you were Wow. Dave Farrow is a two-time Guinness record holder for greatest memory. In 1996, he memorized the order of 52 decks of cards. Wow. They had been randomly shuffled together, and he recalled all of them correctly. He broke that record in 2007 by memorizing 59 decks of playing cards. In Dave's new book, Brain Hacker, you'll learn how to rewire your brain and improve your memory. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Wow, that, that's a blast from the past. That video reminds me. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> You know, when I first heard about this, I thought you must have some genetic brain thing yeah. that allows you to do this and, and the rest of us could not possibly do it. Is there some truth to that? And did you discover this by surprise in elementary school or something? Well, I got to test your memory because I believe you interviewed me in like 2016. Uh, um, I knew that I, we had interviewed <laughs> you before, but there was no way I could have could have gotten the year <laughs> correct. So, so yeah, so the thing that people don't know is that I was diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia when I was a kid. So I had a very naturally I had a very poor memory. Actually, um, I do have a, a well above average IQ, though, if that matters to a lot of people. Uh, it doesn't uh, help you as much as maybe you might think. You still got to work for a living. Um, but uh, what I really did was I became obsessed with trying to figure out how to overcome these focus issues. I'm kind of known as the person who was ADHD and dyslexic, and then you know a few years later in the Guinness Book of Records for their brain and everybody wants to know how uh the the reason was i first of all emotionally i thought i wouldn't really have many opportunities in life if i didn't tackle this problem yeah and i just became obsessed with learning everything i could i mean everything you've ever heard of from hypnosis to you know speed reading to you know all the weird stuff and all the you know the art of memory as well i i, I learned as much as i could and then i started training myself and i started coming up with techniques and that's what led me to uh to the career i have now yeah. I, I teach i speak around the world i uh, teach people through books how to improve their uh, brain power and we even use it in uh, in a marketing agency I have so um, it's just been a wonderful ride and you've got some really great tips too like for people you know say like oh gosh I just can't remember anything at all but you've got some tips on, on how to improve your memory and I find this a lot when I get to the grocery store I have no idea why I got why I went there in the first place a lot of the time when I get through the, the door what would be some tips in terms of trying to remember what is on your list Okay, so first off, if you're blanking out, first thing you should do is take three deep breaths. And when I say deep breaths, you fill up your lungs completely. We rarely do this. Mm -hmm. You ever notice that? People are, are are hyperventilating all the time, a little bit. You know, they're they're breathing through their chest, which means their chest is going up and down. And that actually is triggering the stress response. And stress hormones are released. They directly interfere with your ability to focus and memorize. And we wonder why we're all stressed out all the time. Uh, what, what I want you to do is breathe like a baby, where your chest doesn't move and your stomach moves in and out like a balloon that will tell your brain that, you, that it's time to relax not sleep but relax there's no there's no danger or anything yeah. and when you when you trigger that your memory does naturally improve hmm. especially if you have a stress related memory block the other thing i want you to do is look up looking up literally looking up this is not a positive thinking thing you put your eyes up to the top of your head it actually sends more more energy to the memory center to your brain it hmm. makes a huge difference all right next tip brush your teeth with the opposite hand yeah, there's actually a whole bunch of things like this. Uh, this is this is under the category of novelty. Anytime you do something that is brand new or novel to the brain, it trains your brain and it stimulates what's called neuroplasticity. That's been a big buzzword a lot of times, but a lot of people misunderstand it. They think that you have to stimulate neuroplasticity through games and apps. And the fact is nothing could be further from the truth. A game is repetitious. Uh, it goes, it does the same thing over and over and over. And there's been there's been court cases about this and, and settlements even over like that bad claims with some of these app games. Um, my whole point about this is if you have to repeat something over and over, you're going to start scoring better at it, but that doesn't mean your brain is improving. In fact, the more challenging it is, the better it is for your brain. So once you start scoring better or doing better at something, you're actually not stimulating your brain as much. So you should tackle things that are hard for you. You should tackle things that are different and new. So yeah, if you're if you're right-handed, brush your teeth with your left hand, try writing with the opposite hand, try you know standing on one foot if you think you have bad balance. Go after the thing that's really really tough for you and that's what's going to really stimulate your brain more interesting stuff thanks dave so much for more check out davefarrow.com or follow him on social media dave thanks for your time this morning thank you
Oh, my pleasure. See you again.